Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to this LCW event. Well, I say welcome, but I have a little bit mixed feelings about that because I see a lot of unwashed drilling mouth breathers today. But that's okay. I'm here to enlighten you, to rescue you all. Um, as you know, or at least you should know, I am the real deal. So, we're going to have a little segment called Keeping It Real with Jake. A couple years ago, there was a great injustice done. A man by the name of Dick Tony stole my belt from me. Dick Tony, Tony stole my belt from me by having me face multiple opponents on the same day which is clearly against my contract. I was slightly injured in the first match, and so in the second match, I lost. But again, that's Dick Tony's fault. The next year, I wasn't even allowed to compete. I wasn't allowed to compete because of Dick Tony, who is nothing but a bully. Uh, the following year, though, this is, this is where the story uh, comes from and turns from being a downtrodden and persecuted man to being a triumphant hero. So that year, I faced two opponents in the same day and defeated both of them, and now I am back on top, back on top where I belong in LCW at the very pinnacle. This is where I belong. Now, uh, th I've had some wrestlers tell me they think I'm not a fighting champion. So today, we're gonna call it the Silence the Critics Open Challenge. I'm going to issue an open challenge to anyone who's worthy. Um, now, there may, be some, there may be no one back there brave enough to come face a champion such as I, but. If anyone dares to come challenge me, uh, then feel free to do so. If not, then I guess I have the night off. I deserve it. I never lost it. Well... If you remember last year, uh, you were with child, <laughs> correct? Yeah. Well, I came to the ring also carrying a child, strapped to my chest. And very clearly, you turned me down for that match. So, you forfeited. You forfeited that match. You have no right to even come to this ring and post a claim that you deserve to fight me. So, why don't you just run along? Run along. Who, anyone else? Anyone who's actually worthy of fighting me? Easy, easy. I beat you last year, like you deserve to be, so you can take a hike as well. Okay. Wait a minute. What's...
Territory just waiting to be marked. <laughs> Who are you? No, he's You're nobody. Carmel Coyote. You're about to die. Man, you gotta earn a shot with me. You're just a, you're a nobody. You're just a jobber. Why don't you go back where you came from? <laughs> Oh, 
As you all can see, I just gotta catch my breath. That wasn't really long, right? Yeah. It only was a little short. As you all can see, I, I live up to the hype. I was just unjustly bullied by three people who had no business being in the ring with me. And then, after a hard fought, well-earned victory. I stand here victorious once again. Thank you. Hey, boo? You're booing me? Boo. You lost most of the game. Oh, I won the match. I won the match. I didn't see anything like that. What are you talking about? You would have lost that match without me. Oh, that's ridiculous. I had him right where I wanted him. You were passed out on the ground. Oh, great. <laughs> great. think I like what I see. In case you all don't know me, I am Dick Tony, manager of LCW. And the real squeal here, uh, 
came out and just started talking and talking and talking. And that last match doesn't count. If you may have noticed. Notice, you squeal. Uh, your wife, the boss, came out when Spastic Monkey had you down and he was about to get you. She came out and interfered with the match. So it doesn't even count. So I'm, I was thinking to myself, you know, I mean, Carmel Mountain came out, came and uh, started to try to beat you up. Carmel and, Mountain. Yeah, Carmel Mountain. Oh, was it Coyote Ugly? I think it was. Uh, but then there was that that, uh, that Siamese uh, kitten and that, that other one. I can't remember their name either. But they're nothing compared to me. So I think since I'm the manager of LCW, I should give myself a chance against you. And in fact, you have no say. Because right now you are going to put your belt on the line. And you're going to close that little inside. mouth of yours in a sure set. I'll be waiting. Here. Can you hold this for me? Matt, can you put the dog inside? Go ahead. Go ahead.
I just need a breather. I'm gonna get him, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I got him. I just need a breather.
Here's my belt. No, I took it. It's mine. No. But I am the manager. I'm not the boss of anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. I am the Christ.